Hello and welcome to the first part of my quick start guide for Docker on Windows. To run the Linux-based container framework, we have to download an application called Boot to Docker, which will run Docker inside a virtual machine. To download the application, we go to boottodocker.io and from there we choose the Windows installation. The Windows installer will install the boot to docker virtual appliance, the boot to docker management tool, and Oracle VirtualBox and Git Bash. This tutorial is based on the version 1.5.0 and we will choose docker install for download. After download is completed, I'd like to start the Windows installer. So here's the installer. So we click next and I want to change the folder. I actually want to install it into D programs and um, I want to change it from boot to docker for windows to uh, boot to docker and next and now you can choose what to install so I've already installed the newest version of virtualbox and git bash and therefore I don't need to install it again um, so we leave these checkboxes here unchecked next and we leave it here as docker and um, i want to create a desktop icon and i also want to add boot to docker um, to my pass variable that's very important so next and here we can see actually what will be um, done by the installer and um, we start the installation. So it's quite fast and finish. Now we are ready to run boot to docker for the first time. So first it will initialize the virtual machine and then it will log in to the git bash console. And for a quick check, we will just run the hello world image from Docker Hub. So the container image is pulled from Docker Hub. And now we can see after the container finished that everything went fine. We can see the message hello from Docker. To check the virtual machine settings, we will open the VirtualBox Manager. And we will go through the settings. So here we can see we are on Linux. And we are using 2048 megabytes of memory. And here we can see that it's using all CPUs. We have to reduce this, that's very important. Um, if you don't do this, it will eat up all your CPU power. So display settings, we don't need this, so we can ignore safely this warning. We don't need any video memory. And under storage, we see the boot to docker ISO image that is mounted to the uh, CD DVD drive. 
and we also see the virtual hard disk where your data will be stored. Next, we can have a quick look at the network. So there are two adapters who are active. Adapter one is attached to NAT, network address translation, and adapter two is attached to host only adapter. So under the advanced menu, we can see the MAC address and the adapter type. So we leave it as it is. And last but not least, the shared folder. So this is very important. Um, this is where you can link your Windows directories into the virtual machine. So there is actually um, a folder inside the virtual machine under C slash users. And this corresponds to your Windows folder C users. With the virtual box manager still open, we start boot to docker. So we can see that boot to docker is starting the boot to docker VM. And in the preview window of the virtual box manager, we can even see the boot process of the Linux VM. So that's all for now. Thank you for watching and bye bye.